Welcome back to another Varnberg Implement informational series video. Today we're going to show you the difference in loader joysticks. Not all loader joysticks are created equal. Today we're here on a 1526 or as you can see on the 1700 E series also offers a valve mounted joystick. There's basically two types. You have valve mounted and then you have tractor mounted joysticks. And I'm going to show you some of the differences and things to look for when you're buying your next tractor. With a joystick you have typically a four position control. Left and right will be your tilt functions. Up and down are going to be your raise and lower of the loader. But some joysticks also have an added feature called float as this tractor does. It allows you to float the loader and we'll show you here when we start it up. That's one thing that can be different when you're buying a tractor is if it offers a float position. This tractor does. Left and right, up and down, and then you have a detent that you have to push back to go into float position. Let's start it up and uh, we'll show you what it does. You pull back, we'll raise the loader, push down, we'll lower the loader, up and down. So you raise it up, then when we do the left to right, right is going to dump the bucket, left is going to curl the bucket. So you can actually do both functions at one time. It's going to be path of least resistance on most loaders. There you can curl and up and down. So what we're going to do is now show you float position. You need to get the loader close, but I'm going to show you, for example, we're going to have the loader raised up. And be careful if anybody's around when you do this. Float position will du quick dump the bucket to the ground. What it does with the, with the regular bucket, you can get down pressure, like, and we can raise the loader off. What float position does is floats across the ground. So like if you're grading asphalt, uh, the snow off asphalt, or needing to follow ground contours, the bucket will follow that. You still have control of your t curl and your tilt fun and your dump function. If you want to cut snow or cut a grade a little bit more, you want to put a little bit of angle on it, which will give you more lift on the bucket. That's the basic valve mounted joystick lever. Make sure that you're getting that float position because some people only offer a four way up, down, left, uh, dump and curl is all they offer. So that's an added feature that you may not be getting with some Next other brands. Next is a tractor mounted joystick. As you'll see here, the joystick is actually an integral part of the tractor. The, the couplers are connected by a remote coupler install. This is actually a GC series compact from Massey Ferguson offers an integrated joystick. We'll just start it up. It's got the up down is this way, left and right are your features. And you can see by the dash decal you have your up down and you have left and right. And it does have float position. We'll show you a quick demo of it. Start it up here. You got your raise, your lower, your curl, and your dump. You can watch. We'll curl this back here. And it goes into float position. You still have your left and right, your curl and your dump features available with it. For a subcompact tractor, that's an added feature that a lot of tractors don't offer. Something you want to check out when you're buying your tractor. Make sure you're getting float if you're buying a tractor because uh, it is a great feature. The last one I'm going to show you is the 1700 Premium Series tractor. This one actually has a cab on it, but our, our uh, open platform tractor is the same. You will notice we have our four positions here and our decal actually has two added positions. Besides up and down, left and right, 
We have a detent forward that allows us to do our float position as we've been showing you. But you also have a detent right here. You can feel the resistance and come over. That is a quick dump feature. And I'll show you how that works here. Fire this tractor up. Amazing, one of the cool tests is just uh, raise your tractor up, see if at idle speed you got the hydraulics to uh, raise the tractor. That shows tractor performance there. This is our pulling it back, we'll raise it, pushing it down, we'll lower it. As we showed before, left is going to be your curl, right is going to be your dump, and then you can do both at once. That's going back left corner, curl and dump at the same time. You can see both functions are extending both cylinders at the same time. But what I want to show you is quick dump. Get the bucket. Since it doesn't have a load, this is going to work a lot better if you're full of gravel or dirt or something in the bucket and you want to dump. You can come over here and you'll see that it free floats. That's your normal quick dump is going to be like a float position on the curl button. Helps you get rid of that material faster so you can get more work done. Plus you still have the float position with this tractor. It's in float now. We can still curl and tilt the bucket. And match the ground conditions. It may not see, seem like a lot, but when you start using a loader joystick, you're going to appreciate that float function and the added value if you step up to the premium tractor with the, the quick dump. It's some differences in joysticks that not all of them are created the same. So make sure you understand what you're buying when you buy your next tractor. And if you have any questions and live in West Central Missouri, just come visit Varnberg Implement. We like to show our customers everything they're getting and explain the differences. Thank you for visiting at Varnberg Implement today and come back and check out more of our great videos or visit your local Massey Ferguson dealer and learn more and get more from Massey Ferguson.